when you pass, you go to, you, there is a heaven and, you know, sometimes it, but also, it's also that yeah. not really sure what is there afterwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not really sure what's there, you know, when you do pass. But I mean, I believe, I believe there is somewhere that you do go. Yeah. Not fully sure though. Sure. But I guess, man, uh, does it bother you, man? Like, uh, cause you know, 150,000 people die every single 24 hours, man. Mm -hmm. And most people never really think about where they're going to spend the majority of their time, right? Mm -hmm. So heaven and hell, mm -hmm. you believe in heaven and hell. Yeah. So if you had to put where you spend eternity, let's just say, let's say 0%, you go straight to hell. 100% you get into heaven. Where do you feel like you comfortably fall if you have to rate where you spend eternity? Um, <clears throat> well, I, I know, you know, I know, I, I know just the life that I live it hasn't been perfect. Sure. And right. I know I haven't lived how both the Bible and God say that I should live my life. Yes, sir. I mean, I can't even tell you the last time I've been to church. Yeah, man. I, I, <laughs> hey, hey, no, no here to judge. No judge. <laughs> no, no, no. no I, I, I can't even tell you the last time I've been to church. Or yeah. Last yeah. time that I've, you know, opened opened up the Bible and you yeah. know, read a verse or a scripture. You're right. But, I mean, I pray every day. Okay. Well, I mean, well I, that's good. <laughs> you know, I, I pray every day. I pray yeah. as much as I can. Um, so, I mean, if if today was the day, yeah. I mean, I, I say I probably. If if everything is said how how it is said and yeah. you know when the time comes and you're sure. forgiven, yeah. then I mean I believe I will go to heaven okay. because I mean I believe everything, all the bad that I've done will be forgiven, but then the good that I've also done would also outweigh the bad that I've done. So okay. I believe I will go to heaven. Do you have, you have any idea how God is going to qual like uh, determine how somebody get into heaven and escape hell? You have any idea specifically how He's going to determine that? So my creative mind, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> my creative mind for some reason thinks that, you know, when the time is, when the time is time, uh -huh. you know, you approach him and he opens this magical book and it shows you, hey, okay. from age one to uh -huh. however old you were, this is everything you did. Uh -huh. These are the highlights. These are, these are the bad. bad. Yeah. Do you realize this is what you did and, and yeah. the bad is bad? Mm -hmm. and, this is and the good is good. You yeah. have to realize it's good because those are the highlights. So that's how I imagine sure. it would happen. Yeah. Okay. And he and he'll look at the good and the bad and determine what, where you go. Yeah. And All I right. feel like if you acknowledge that, hey, what I did was bad. Yes, sir. And I shouldn't have done it, but I did it. Yeah. And you kind of atone for it, then the blemishes kind of get wiped away. Okay. What's up? Yeah. Hey, go, you go ahead. No, go ahead. we're just talking. <laughs> we're just talking, yeah. Uh, do you know where those go? Upstairs. Okay, Mike can get them. Okay. Mike can help you. No, I don't think they go upstairs. Are they filled? No. Anyway, just let Mike know. I'll let Mike know. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, man. What's your name? King? Isaac. Isaac, Isaac. Well, Isaac, man, one thing I want to, like, you don't want to be wrong about eternity. Eternity. Uh, you go ahead. Don't, don't let me. No, you're fine. Okay. They're probably looking to check check in. Yeah, okay. it's straight ahead. You're welcome. Eternity is too long to be wrong. Mm -hmm. Man, you don't want to be wrong. That's why I showed you those cards. One of the w ways you can be, the worst way you can be wrong is it, is to stand before God and you think you're you're okay. Yeah. And you find out when you get there, you've been wrong. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah, man. So you don't want to be wrong about eternity. I, I just want to take the last few minutes and just show you. Yeah. Do you mind if I show you this last few minutes how you can, you know, you can be a hundred percent. I'll, I'll yeah, give you. Absolutely. All right. So I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna use my hands. I'm gonna show you the central message of the Bible in one illustration, and then I'm gonna give you the good person test. Because even though I think you're a great guy, uh, yeah. I'll give you the good person test. So in the beginning, everything was good. You know the story, Adam and Eve. Yeah. You know what happened and messed everything up. Eve ate the apple. Ate from that. Yeah. Ate from a tree. Ate from a tree. Shared it with Adam. They realized they were naked. We got it. Banished from the garden. Yep. And what letter is in the middle of the word sin? I. So anytime I do what I want to do, that's where we violate this standard. And I'm, this is not me to judge you, but yeah. just look at your standard when it compares to God. Isaac, how many lies have you told in your lifetime? <laughs> Too many. <laughs> uh, Too many to count. I can't count mine either. Yeah. You ever stole anything? Yeah. Me too. I broke into a church one time. And stole some stuff. I'm serious. <laughs> Jesus said, if you look at someone with lust, with lust, you commit adultery in your heart. Have you ever looked at someone with lust? Right. All right. Uh, you ever use God's name in vain? Yeah. 
uh, use God's name as a cuss word? Yeah. All right. Uh, disobeyed your parents? Yeah. To this day, still kind of do. <laughs> you ever been mad at somebody? You feel like you can like put some pain on them? Oh yeah. All right. You have any idea what the Bible equates that commandment with? When we get so mad at somebody, we can put. We feel like we can hurt them. Can't think of it off the top of my head. It's, but it's, it's murder. Yeah. But because how does somebody feel before they take somebody's life? Anger. So the Bible says even when you feel that rage, well, I judge you, man. If you were to stand before God tonight, what do you think He should do to you? Well, now that, now that you, now we kind of look down. <laughs> Jesus, who do you who do you think is responsible for killing Jesus? I mean, we did. Yeah, exactly. You, you got kids, right? Yeah. Man, this is a horrible illustration. I got three kids. If somebody was to harm one of your kids. Uh, I couldn't tell you what I would do. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how much good could they do to give you? How much money could they pay you for them to walk free? Could they give you enough money? No, no man. It'll, it'll, be, it'll make you mad. It's yeah. a slap in your face to think they can pay you off. Well, you know how most people are going to try to get to heaven after what they did to the son? They're going to try to get to heaven by trying to be good and pay God off. How do you think that's going to make you feel? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so the Bible says that God is high and holy. This is my middle finger. Now, don't watch that finger now, but this represents how God stands high and holy, just like this is the highest finger above all of us. Dude, he has to punish sin if he's a good judge. Yeah. He can't let sin go. Yeah. If he lets sin go, what kind of judge would he be? Right. Bad judge. Now, here's what changed my life. This is probably going to help you too. Just let, just let, I don't know, just, I want to see what you think about it. Last two fingers. Yeah. Like, uh, so I, I'm married to my wife. I've been married to my wife for 14 years. Like, I'm so committed to my wife, I would die for her. And I would even, like, kill for her if I had to protect her. Same. Right? You, you same thing? Yeah. Well, the reason why you would die and kill for her, why? Because she's part of my family. Yeah, man. You love her. Yeah. Well, even though you're guilty, even though you're going to stand before God and he's going to give you hell like you deserve it, he don't want you to go to hell. This is why he sent Jesus 2,000 years ago when he died on the cross for us. We broke the law. Yeah. Jesus Christ comes and pays the fine. Yeah. Let's just say you was charged with a billion dollars worth of speeding tickets. Could you pay them off? No. No, the, the debt is too big. Yeah. You couldn't pay it off even if you tried to work for it. Yeah. Well, the Bible says that even though we're guilty, your sin has created a debt that you cannot pay off. So, but, but the Bible says that Jesus came and paid the fine for you, just like if Bill Gates came and paid that billion dollar speeding ticket, the judge can let you go. Yeah. Well, your debt of sin is so big, only Jesus can pay the fine for your sin so you cannot be guilty. Now God can actually let us go because of the death and resurrection of Jesus. And it's not because you're good or I'm good. It's because he's good and he's rich in mercy. Right. So the only way you can be forgiven is if you would transfer your trust from yourself to the Savior, which is Jesus. And the Bible says he'll clear your debt. And you will stand before God if you never committed a sin because Jesus paid the fine with his life's blood. Now what you must do in response to that, knowing that he went to the cross, is that you must confess. This is my last finger, your pinky finger. This is small and it's weak. It's probably the weakest finger that you have. If you will humble yourself and become weak and tell God, hey God, I can't, I can't pay my fine. I'm in trouble on the day of judgment, but I'm humbling myself and accepting the gift of, of, of what Jesus has done for me on that cross. And once you accept that and acknowledge that and say, God, I'm sorry, you repent and, and, and ask God to, to, to take the place of the debt, then the Bible says God will he'll clear the debt and make his home with you, relationship with you like you started with your kids when they were born into your family. Yeah. There's nothing your kids can do. To like be bad enough for you to disown. Checking in. Yeah. It's straight ahead. Straight ahead. Yep. So it's nothing you can do. Your yeah. kids can do to dis you for you to disown them. Yeah. How bad can they be? It, they can do nothing. Nothing. Now you'll discipline them. Yeah. But you never disown them. No. Well, once you repent and say, God, I need you. I need a savior. He becomes your father. Now, it's not based on how good you are. It's based on his goodness. Yeah. You need you need a relationship, not just a, not just trying to impress Jesus. You, yeah. you need a relationship with him. That's the central message of the whole Bible. Everything was good. We all went our own way. God is high and holy. He has to punish sin. He committed to die for us, and we must humble ourselves. Right. Man, tell me what you're thinking. I'm, so I mean, everything you say, everything you're saying, I kind of like I said, grew up in a church, so I knew, yeah. I knew all these things. My, I guess my main thing is trying to live, I guess, the life that how you say sure. is supposed to be lived. Because yeah. you know, sometimes life be life. And it does be life. And 
things get thrown at you and yeah, for sure. sometimes you gotta do what's necessary. I, I know. Yeah. And sometimes maybe what's necessary is it's not right. Right. The, the, the greatest thing or the right thing to do is sure. Yeah. But it's what's necessary. Right. So it's so it's if I do what's necessary in my life, am I asking for forgiveness every time that I'm doing what's necessary? Because like how you said, I get I get mad sometimes yeah. to, at somebody that sure. it's considered murder, it's <clears throat> yeah. considered a sin. Yeah. But then for those for the instance, if I needed to steal because you somebody you got to feed your family, feed my family. Sure. Over, yeah. Something did happen, and I right. had to somebody like what how do I yeah do I ask for every single time well, well here's the deal now, you know, register for the, take a glove you know, I'll, I'll let him finish you no, those, those are our volunteers are you with our church no are you with the church what you know are you a volunteer okay. I'm just trying to get registered yeah, yeah, as a messenger yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. okay that's great that's great I'm going to be finished, man, after this. No, you're fine. All right. Okay, I'll try to thank you. Are y'all checking out? Okay. All right. I was. I asked the same question, man. If I'm going to follow Jesus, I still got to do some stuff. Yeah. But here's the deal. What can a glove do without a hand going in it? Nothing. Man, you would make that glove do everything you want to do. Yeah. I don't care how hard or how loud you talk to that glove. That glove ain't doing nothing. Yeah. But once you put your hand in it, now what can that glove do? Everything Anything. That you want. See, the reason why you're not going to be able to really make it in this life without God putting his hand in you. When he puts his hand in you, man, do all the stuff that you need, man, he'll provide. Because right now, you know about God, but you don't have him inside of you. And once he puts his hand in you by saying, God, I need you, I'm repenting, I'm surrendering. Then he'll put his hand in you. That's the only way that can happen. Of course, man, you're not going to be able to accomplish nothing without him putting his hand in you. So when I ask God to save me, man, help me, man, it's been different ever since. I'm not talking about perfection, but I am talking about direction. Shit, I'm saying? What you think? Yeah. I mean, I, I will say that, I mean, there is some aspects that I need to improve in. And there yeah. are some things that... Are you trying to register? <laughs> or check in? All right, man. I'm check in. Where are you going? I know yeah. there is some aspects in my life where I need to do you think? Do you think? improve and, yeah. and be better. Like, I, I know that. Okay. All right. I'm going to let you go, man. God bless you, man. I appreciate it. Hey, the, the message is on the back of those, man. Okay. 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 God bless you, man.